China has vowed to step up COVID-19 testing and screening to prevent a rebound in cases, but fears over a second wave of infections contributed to a fall in global stock markets on Thursday. That and a dour assessment from the head of the US Federal Reserve on Wednesday dashed hopes for a quick economic recovery. Jerome Powell warned of a recession worse than any since World War II and called for additional public spending. That was seen as a pointed comment from a central banker who has avoided giving advice to elected officials. Meanwhile, new outbreaks in South Korea and China are worrying investors, even as more countries begin to reopen their economies. Every market in Asia fell and MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan closed down 1.3%. The pan-European stock 600 slid over 1.5% in morning trade, falling past a one-week low hit on Wednesday. Automakers, technology and banking stocks led declines. Airbus slipped as much as 1.6%, following reports that the aerospace group is exploring restructuring plans involving the possibility of deep job cuts. London's FTSE 100 fell for a second straight day, as investors worried that a recovery would be slower than expected. In the US, the Trump administration is pressing on with reopening plans, despite urgings of caution from medical experts. A surprise drawdown of US inventories helped oil prices make meagre gains, but the bleak outlook capped rises. Brent crude firmed slightly to just over $29 per barrel, and US crude was up 1%.